And well, how about that? Joining us live, a fellow who was there, Republican Congressman Randy Forbes from Virginia, member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, always good to see you. All right. So Great Holder you, says, look, um, I've already testified eight times. I've handed over 7,600 documents. I mean, it does sound like a lot, except when you do the math and you figure out he's withholding 132,400 documents. What do you think he's hiding? Well, Greg, the point is exactly what you just said. It doesn't matter if the attorney general's been there seven times or 70 times. If every time you ask him the key question, he says, I don't know, or he won't answer it. Doesn't matter if he's given us 7,000 documents or 700,000 documents if he doesn't give us the key documents. This is the attorney general of the United States. He should be spearheading this investigation instead of stonewalling it. And we found out yesterday, Greg, that he's been consulting with the chief strategist for the Obama campaign about what he should be saying and doing. And we just think that's inappropriate. We've got to step back and realize, you know, we had a law enforcement officer who lost his life because of this program. Hundreds of people in Mexico who lost their lives because of this program. And the ambassador of Mexico says this has poisoned the relationship between these two countries and, and really impacted something that two administrations have been working yeah. on. And yet it's taken him a year and he still hasn't completed right. this investigation. Right. Uh, Mr. Holder says, look, we didn't really know, the senior officials didn't know about the gun walking operation operation till 2011. Do you have the affidavits uh, that are incidental to the wiretap applications that show that they knew about it in 2010? Does it specifically say that, the, the gun walking operation in 2010? Greg, I do not have in my possession those applications, but ISA? Mr. Issa, Mr. Issa presented them and represented that that's exactly what they said yesterday yeah. at the hearing, and yet Mr. Holder uh, denied that and refused to talk but about it. But you've got a problem with that because, you know, Congressman Issa obtained those illegally, didn't he? Well, I can't say that he obtained them illegally. I don't know how Congressman Issa obtained them. Only the judge we... was allowed to see them and the applicants. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't answer that. The only thing that I can tell you is that the Attorney General has been so evasive in this investigation. And yet, you know, uh, Greg, it's important. Every time he wants to do an investigation or file an action against states with Republican governors, yeah. he can do it very, very quickly. Just can't do it when it comes to the uh, Department of Justice itself. Right. I, I want to be fair here because there were Democrats on your committee, and I was watching yesterday, who said, hey, wait a minute. You know, the ATF was doing the same sort of thing under the Bush administration. And you now, Daryl Issa, and the other Republicans on the committee, which would include you, are simply uh, trumping this up for political purposes. What do you say about Greg, both I'm, those I'm glad issues? You, uh, first of all, I'm glad that you raised that. Uh, one of the things you have to recognize is even if that was true under the Bush administration, we didn't have anybody that lost their life because of this. The second thing, when you look at the politics of it, it's the Attorney General's office that's really making uh, the politics because they refuse to give this information. And now we're finding out their chief strategist yeah. is actually meeting with them and consulting with Let them me, about what to I'm, say and give. I'm out of time. Let me ask a quick question. Let me get a quick answer if I can. Is Eric Holder, in your judgment, lying to your committee? Can't say he's lying, but I think he certainly hasn't been doing the job he needs to be as All Attorney right. General. It's time he stepped down. Congressman, Congressman Randy Forbes, thank you very much. Thank you, Greg. All right, we've got a Fox News alert. We are waiting for the